Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 15 of the Get Rich With Me series here. So up until now, what we've done is actually acquire many businesses, and we've done a lot more spending than we've done earning. However, now that we've gathered um, pretty much the top businesses in the, in the game, it's time to put it all together. So what do you want to do is set up a routine. Now, I'm going to show you my personal routine. This is what I've done to get rich on my other account. I have... Um, I think a lifetime money amount of 700 million and that's not even really putting that much effort into it um, This is just things that I've gathered over time. So This is obviously something that you're gonna gonna be able to do as well with the businesses that you have Of course, you can always expand and get more other businesses But what we want to do is set up a routine. So what do you do as soon as you log in? Okay, so the reason why we bought the arcade last episode was because I like to spawn into the arcade. That's where my set spawn is pretty much always is on when I play normally. And the reason for that is because as part of your routine, you're going to want to take care of those things that require upkeep and maintenance. So what are we talking about here? So let's ac access here the uh, terminal. We're talking about things like the nightclub where you need to go ahead and go over there and either sell or you can sell from here or go over there and make sure that your popularity is upkept. That way, the $50,000 that you get every 48 in-game minutes is still pumping out. We're also talking about supplies. So right now, <clears throat> I'm concentrating on this account on doing strictly research. And so I want to make sure that my uh, bunker over there has constant supplies and it's always up and running as long as I'm playing the game. We're also talking about the cocaine lockup, counterfeit cash, meth lab, weed, anything of that nature that you may be using. I personally don't use them. Um... I'll sell them off if I hit a stash house and one of them gets filled or get some uh, product in it. But for the most part, I don't really waste my time on that. I don't like to sell missions, uh, but you can do it for extra money. They are passive businesses pretty much, so you can actually do that. You can also manage your cargo from here, so you can source or sell. Uh, again, for the cargo, we've went over that, but it's probably best to do it from the terabyte as always. And of course, your hangar missions here. You can sell or source. Uh, it's always nice to come here. So once you have that settled and now that you have uh, you hit all the resupplies or anything, just to make sure that you need any of it, we're going to go ahead and head over to the nightclub. So once I make sure that all my supplies are good, everything is running, I go ahead and head over to the nightclub because for the next couple hours of what we're playing, I want to be able to earn that $50,000 to the max. Now, let's discuss about location because right here in this location, we have our arcade, we have the warehouse, we have the freak shop, and we have uh, the casino here. We also have our nightclub nearby. All these things that I've bought, as well as the agency, are things that I've bought on purpose because, well, they're all within a vicinity. I can literally get to any of these places within less than 30 seconds in some instances. So in this case, if your nightclub is over here or anywhere else, really, one of the things you would like to do as well is check up on the freak shop. Just check it up to see if you can hit your acceleration for the day or if you can sell, then you can be start getting ready to sell and then head over to the casino and then over to the nightclub. You want to do it this as efficiently as possible. Alrighty, so this particular week, um, we actually have, uh, I think it was double money on the Acid Lab sales. So right now, when this fills up, I'll be able to probably get close to a million dollars from the full in, in a full lobby cell. So right now, what we did is we went ahead and hit the asset production uh, speed up. That way, for everything that we're going to be doing, it's just going to be uh, sped up. So now that we've done that, let's head on over to the casino. All right. Now, sometimes because the casino is on a 24 hour cooldown, uh, I tend to sometimes forget about it. And so... Um, if you do as well, it's fine. But remember, there are prizes here that you can earn. They're very good, so don't skip out on it. Let's see what we get here. RP. Okay. I don't need much of that anymore, but alrighty. Once you've done that, go ahead and collect your visitor's bonus. And I leave it there to just pile up. Um, I collected actually 21,000 prior to that, but uh, yeah. All right, next, let's head on over to our nightclub. Okay, once you get to the nightclub, just to reiterate, remember, put, uh, get out of the CEO 
enable passive mode i believe this is only working on pc as it stands but if you are on console and it works for you uh let me know in the comments down below but once you engage whoa once you engage in the say uh, and excuse me in passive mode basically once marcel gives you a mission to go and get your popularity up it should be about kicking out somebody there we go yep there it is never fails so this way we can make sure that for the next couple of hours if we are even going to be playing that long that we'll get to fifty thousand dollars every single 48 in-game minutes and not a penny less so let's go ahead and do the kick out all right we got our ten thousand dollars we leveled up and now it's really your choice if you're going to collect the the safe earnings you have a, up until 250,000. I like to collect it just in case sometimes I take a little bit longer. I never want to hit that uh, that full bar uh, because then at that point you no longer collect. So I'd rather collect, take an extra couple seconds uh, than ever, you know, get stuck in a situation where it's no longer generating money because it's a capacity. So we'll do that. Now let's go ahead and get on out of the nightclub and we're going to go outside the agency real quick. All right, so our agency is pretty close by. Our uh, disabled mode has already been uh, deactivated by itself. I don't know why, but whatever. So, for the agency, as we've discussed before, ideally what you want to do is have it to where you've completed all the contracts necessary to get the maximum amount every 40 in game minutes, which is $20,000. I personally haven't completed it yet, but I am about halfway there. Um, what you want to do is once we complete all our first task you may want to concentrate on that if you need to finish it but other than that the agency of course you know you can do the heist there and right. always make sure to check the safe i know my safe is not anywhere near to capacity right now so i'm just going to go ahead and ignore it okay next things is going to be basically hitting their warehouses now as part of the update of the warehouses essentially what you can do now is go inside and uh, receive or actually give money to the technicians inside the warehouse and they'll go ahead and go ahead and source cargo for you so go ahead and register and come on in and then for all five of our warehouses we're gonna go one by one and go ahead and pay seven thousand five hundred to each of them to make sure that for the next 48 in-game minutes that we're gonna be here that they're gonna be sourcing a cargo and we're gonna be able to get one two three or maybe even a special cargo from them so let's go ahead and take care of that and i'll meet you right after okay so we finally hit all of our warehouses and we have our technicians working for us to get more cargo now now we come to a uh a split road so you have now a decision to make if we look at our map you look at all your businesses essentially the decision that you have to make is either you're gonna go and do a Cayo Perico heist um and then go ahead and just earn your million there or you're gonna do activities so it really depends on how uh, annoyed and ready to blow your brains out you are of doing kyo and heist over and over again so if you are gonna do kyo perico go ahead and do that get your million then come back and continue with your source missions re-up on everything else and keep that flow going however if you're not going to do a kyo or any of the other heist what i would suggest to do is the in-game activity so we have here at our bunker you have the gun running uh, truck, which you can do for $50,000. It, it takes less than five minutes in most cases. Uh, so it's a free $50,000 that you can go ahead and do. It is on a 48 minute cooldown, by the way. So just bear that in mind. Now, the other thing that you're going to want to do is also prioritize the agency for the contracts. That way you can continue to rack up those contracts and get closer to that 201 contract limit. Uh, where you get the $20,000 in the safe. So if you're going to do any of the sourcing or any of the activities, go ahead and prioritize that as in the long run, it is going to pay you off more. And remember, you are going to be getting paid a lot of money for doing the missions as well. So it's not just going to be missions uh, to do missions. Additionally, if you wanted to do the Fooligan jobs, you can do that. Remember, it's $50,000, 48 minute cooldown. I really don't like doing the Fooligan jobs there, but whatever. And then finally, of course, well, not finally, but of course, my main thing, the thing I love to do is source, source cargo. So when you source cargo for the warehouses, you're going to be starting to build up stock and as well as your technicians bringing it in. So you have that more, even more coming in. And um, lastly, you have the hangar. 
So the hangar, as you guys know, you can go ahead and source cargo from there. And that is pretty good money, especially after the update. Whatever you're doing, however much amount of time that you have, it really it depends on you. So if you have maybe one to two hours of gameplay a day, I would start with the first half of this uh, routine and then maybe do a Cayo Perico heist, right? Later on, if you have more time, you're going to be able to do more of these activities. But really, the point of it is to slowly start gathering money. And by the end of the week, just probably from one, one week's worth of logging in for one or two hours, you're going to have a lot of money to spend, which you can either do spend it on things that you want, like vehicles or planes, or even more expansion of your businesses. Uh, but actually, uh, the important part really here is to remember to hit all those maintenance uh, all the re-upping of supplies and the uh, the nightclub as well, because those things are going to be making you money just for playing the game passively. So in my opinion, those are going to be the priority every single time that you log in. And then after that, you kind of pick what you want to do. Personally, as I mentioned, I like doing the vehicle warehouses. Uh, vehicle warehouses, what am I saying? We don't even own that yet. Uh, I like doing the cargo warehouses. Uh, to me, it's semi-therapeutic. I don't know. It really depends on what your taste is. Uh, but this is just a short video I wanted to make today to kind of put it all together in case maybe, you know, out of all the businesses we've got gathered, you feel like maybe a little overwhelmed. Uh, you shouldn't. If you have any questions or opinions, uh, leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Uh, but other than that, we'll see you next time and we'll see what we do next.